dear participants welcome to this open education resource on planar chromatography here we will deal with subsection thin layer chromatography thin layer chromatography it is a type of planar chromatography the stationary phase is a planar or a flat surface which contains a thin layer of adsorbent material on inert support which may be of glass plastic or aluminum sheet the mobile phase is always liquid the stationary phase is a solid adsorbent layer mobile phase liquid so TLC is an example of liquid chromatography as the stationary phase is a thin layer of adsorbent on inert support mobile phase liquid as the mobile phase passes through the stationary phase due to surface interactions of solute for stationary phase and mobile phase we are achieving the separation of mixture in thin layer chromatography the adsorption is a phenomenon which predominantly responsible for separation of partitioning adsorption along with partitioning responsible for separation but predominantly it is a adsorption of phenomenon if you just look out what the adsorbents to be used in thin layer chromatography silica gel is widely used other choices starch anulin calcium carbonate magnesia alumina to be there if you just look out in details what the nature of stationary phase or the nature of adsorbents which are used in TLC mostly the silica gel is used as an adsorbent so if you just look out the structure the hydroxy functional groups onto the surface that is a silanol functional groups so these hydroxy functional groups make the nature of stationary phase polar in nature so when we think for the TLC by default it is a normal phase TLC the stationary phase is polar in nature due to this hydroxy functional groups so the mobile phase just opposite to the nature of stationary phase mobile phase use is a non-polar in nature so in thin layer chromatography if you look out the mobile phases they are the organic solvent alone or in combination of the alone or organic solvent alone or in combination used as a mobile phase so thin layer chromatography the flat surface onto the flat surface the adsorbent layer to be used as a stationary phase so TLC HPTLC both are example of planar chromatography paper TLC HPTLC all are example of liquid chromatography liquid to be as a mobile phase in all the three cases paper TLC HPTLC the nature of stationary phase is a flat surface the thin layer chromatography and high performance thin layer chromatography differentiated on the basis of the particle size of the adsorbent in case of TLC the particle size of adsorbent used 10 to 12th micrometer whereas in case of HPTLC the particle size is again uh, lesser 5 to 6 micrometer 
the question for assessment what the phenomenon responsible for separation of components in TLC ion exchange partitioning adsorption and partitioning size exclusion another question for assessment what the action due to mobile phase passes through the stationary phase in TLC capillary action gravitational force surface interaction polar nonpolar interactions third question for assessment what the particle size of silica gel G used in TLC for more details of this topic you refer Remington thank you